your host, Jeremy Moore. Welcome to another episode of Against the Green Living. Uh, today we're going to organize uh, a few log piles I got around the edges of the lawn. There's four or five of them, I think. We're going to... Uh, we're getting pretty close on how many logs we need for the 16 by 16 cabin, so uh, I'm just gonna check my parts list there, and uh, we'll go from there. See how many more I gotta drop, but uh, I think we're pretty close. This is my setup for cleaning the dirty logs. Dragging them out of the bush, getting them out. I've uh, gotten them all muddy and it's hard on the bandsaw blade, so. Just gonna try to save it. So this is my setup. Just got rainwater collection. Running into a big Yamaha pressure washer there. Spraying down the, spraying down the logs. This is just a time lapse of one complete cycle of picking up the logs at the edge of the bush, uh, bringing them up to the pressure washer, cleaning them all, and then carrying on around the house, around the pond, up into uh, where I have my three uh, individual piles of logs, the wall logs, the floor logs, and the roof logs. And then all the way back around, uh, Next load of logs and do it all again. This is where we're at after three, four days uh, working at it after work. It's been a slow go coming across the yard and uh, power washing every single one of them. I couldn't get them out in the winter time when it was snow covered. So some of the bigger ones gave me a bit of grief. So I quit picking them up with the loader. We had a few more small ones and then I got to come up with a new game plan to get all the the big ones over here oh we're getting there that was about uh two of the five piles in the yard uh, and uh, a couple truck loads from a fellow that gave me some shorter logs Introducing the plastic barrel log skid.
What we have here is an old ratchet strap. Kind of repurpose for a That. Just gonna cinch. Cinch the ends of that. It's never coming undone again, so I'm not worried about doing a water knot or anything like that. There. Now let's go see if this all works. Well, we're losing daylight, but this is what she looks like. First attempt at it. Well, not tried and true yet, but uh, she's got an eight foot double loop strap, uh, doubled up twice on the log. I gotta find a way to get the shortest, shortest toe so I can get the most height out of my three point bar. But the idea is you just pick the appropriate slot that I put in with the grinder uh, based on the diameter of the log and then uh, Just ratchet strap it To itself and throw the excess in the barrel and I just come all the way across there without even putting a mark in the lawn uh, These last 13 logs are way too hard on the little tractor it uh, hard on my front end I uh, actually might have broke something in the front drive shaft, but <clears throat> next time I get out and about, I'll be uh, giving this a little more, more test. But uh, so far, first attempt, it worked uh, worked really well. If I can get that a little shorter or on top of the three-point bar and get a little more leverage, there'll be no risk of that uh, lip catching, but it uh, tapers inward. Um, yeah, worked pretty good. So the idea is just to skid them over to where I have the log piles and uh, then just lift to get them on the, the pile. Um, I carried a few of these across the whole yard and it's uh, the tractor will lift it, but it's I got a lot of ballast and it's got a lot of hydraulic power, but it's hard on it. So we're going to save the tractor and uh, this is what I came up with in about five minutes. So it's working.
Well, I'd call it a success. Is that at that end? Just pop your ratchet straps. It's pretty robust, as you can see. Two narrow straps tested it on one of the smaller trees and that's all we got works pretty good my blue barrel skid worked great for skidding the logs um, but without the box plate for ballast out back uh, the little tractor couldn't pick the logs up and put it on the stack here um, so I'm just gonna whip up some quick ramps from some scrap 2 by 4s uh, hopefully I can just poke them up the ramps and on the pile uh, I'm not using four-wheel drive anymore because uh, I think I wrecked it, but uh, my tires just come off the back, my rear tires, my drive tires, and I just spin. So we're going to see if this works a little better, and uh, we should be able to get those last 13 logs that are over there. Uh, skid it over here to where the mill's going to go. Should do the trick.
So this barrel's uh, skidded approximately 50 logs across the yard now and it's working pretty good. It uh, has worn through the strap a few times. I've uh, retied three knots in this one. I did end up breaking the ratchet in my original yellow strap that I had, but I have got a bunch of bunch of old ones. The log ended up rolling on it and uh, bent it all the disrepair. Um, but I have come up with a few efficiencies since I've uh, been doing this. And what you saw me uh, get this log up in the air and then I usually just load, load the barrel over. Like so. I deal with the other end and set her down. I'll show you that now. So at this end I just took a scrap uh, rotten chunk of cedar and put a notch in it with the axe and then I put a flat side on the back. I just set it up under this end before I uh, release the loader and uh, hold the end up. Just like so, then I'll come around and hook up to my box plate. So at this end, uh, with the box plate on this versus my uh, cross bar for my three point, I've uh, I can get a higher purchase point on this, and I maintain some ballast at the other end of the operation when I lift the logs onto the pile. Um, I did have the weight in here as well, but with the leverage, the log, the rack, and the weight, uh, three point, the, the hydraulic pump was whining, so I took all the, the weight out of the back, and it's it's been fine like that. Um, so usually I come back and leave the, the loop in there. If it uh, reaches around it, that's good. Saves me some time. out this time and then I just find a another scenario uh, works to loop it around do it up with the clevis then the, the log just bangs against the back of the box plate if it's uh, got to sway a little and uh, I, I can get some extra height out of it like so and I just remove my <coughs> chunk and save it for the next time thanks for tuning in to another episode of uh, against the grain living uh, if you enjoyed or if you want to follow along for the whole build uh, please like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks.